Hey guys, today I have a super, super, super exciting video. This is the most exciting video I have ever done in my life for YouTube. Guys, I'm gonna be interviewing, I'm gonna be doing video together, video call with Brianna. She is cologne hydrotherapy specialist, which does colonics. If you guys don't know anything about colonics, if you want to know if you have acne, if you have uh, any skin problems, if you have any health issues, if you have depression, anxiety, everything can be related to our health. What do we eat? How do we maintain our healthy body and stuff like this? Like this is a huge topic, everything about health. So if you are interested about the health, please keep on watching and let's welcome Brianna. All right. So you ready? Introduce yourself, who you are, and what you do for a living, like, as much as possible. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much, Jen Amber, for inviting me. This Yay. is something that's really dear to my heart, and I am doing everything I can to spread the word about natural healing, natural health, and colonics. Um, so my name is Brianna Wood, and I go by Bree. I work in downtown, and I work in Chino, which is in California doing colon hydrotherapy. Um, then let's go to the next question. What is colonics or people say colon hydrotherapy, right? Yeah, so it goes, it's colon hydrotherapy, but for short, it, people call it colonics. Colonics, okay, so and what is this? What this is, is a complete detoxification of actually the entire body. It's not just, you know, the colon. So over the, last you know few decades that we've been alive we've been accumulating these toxins and this waste on a cellular level in our tissues in our colon and this accumulates especially with the lifestyle that we need now with the sticky junk that we eat and all of this oh, stuff yeah. that we have. so yeah. what the colon hydrotherapy does is it loosens up that junk and it assists it out of the body in the most natural way your body just has a natural bowel movement it gets um, filled with the colon gets filled with warm, temperature-regulated, filtered water, very gently, in a completely safe way, and that loosens up that material. And over time, we can start to really break free, break away from all that junk, and start to move it out of the body. So it's kind of a process. You, you can come from one colonic, but it's kind of a process over time. You know, it took 30 years to get that junk in your body. It's going to take a little bit of time to get it. Oh, yeah. Imagine how much junk we have in there. Oh, my God. That sounds so cool. That sounds so cool. Okay, so my next question will be, who is a good candidate for this procedure? Like, who can do this age? Is there, like, age limit? Is there some, like, um, somebody who cannot do this? Yes. So the quick answer is, if you're human... You can and you should be doing this. Okay. Um, I'll go over a little bit about who can't do it. In a yeah, second. yeah, go just who can do it. Like, Greek history, um, the Egyptians, right? One of the most ancient civilizations, they kind of invented colon cleansing. So they were a highly intelligent group of people. I mean, to this day, we still don't know how the pyramids were built. <laughs> and this is like, so they were really ahead of their time. And what they did um, figure out is that when we eat food, it ferments and rots. We extract the nutrients we need from it, but then it goes you know, through the digestive tract into the colon for elimination. And if this doesn't get eliminated it properly, it can then kind of leak out into the rest of the body, into the bloodstream, and cause disease yeah, and exactly. illness. So this is something that they really figured out, and they coined the term auto-intoxication. Um, so they started practicing colon cleansing. This is something that's been going on for thousands of years, and the Greeks adopted it, and you know, civilizations today are starting to get back into it. Um, but yeah, so everybody, if you're human, that's the point. All and right. then the people who can't get into it, <laughs> or who should it, who should yeah, it, they should what they're going through first, um, because it can cause an issue. So people with severe cardiac issues, okay. um, you know, if you manage it with blood pressure medication or you're you're in good health okay. right now, that's fine. But if you're having severe issues, severe issues like you're you can barely breathe, you know, um, and you get winded very easily, you might want to take care of that first. People who have kidney issues, liver issues, um, it can be a little bit dangerous, so just make sure that you check with a doctor first. Yeah. A lot of doctors aren't really behind colonics. Some of them are more integrative and 
natural, but a lot of times doctors will kind of scare clients off and patients off from getting this. Well, the doctors are like basically, I think against a lot of things from something that they don't make money. I'm just, I don't know, thinking that like doctors and the pharma, they're all about making money and something what is natural. They're like, hmm, it's funny thing, like doctors, they have so much knowledge about the health and, and everything. But I see, especially here in the United States, so many doctors are overweight. So what does that mean? They have knowledge, but they don't use this knowledge. Because they know you have to eat uh, healthy in order to look healthy, right? But it's kind of, um, that's just a weird thing that I noticed. I asked the doctor once if, um, you know, I went in for some type of issue and I said, just just kind of testing the water because I already knew the answer. I said, can my diet be affecting, like, what I'm eating be affecting this right now? And he goes, oh, no. And I'm like, what? What? Really? Come on. Um, <laughs> it's an issue like along the digestive system. I'm like, how does that not compute? But wow. again, you know, doctors are amazing. I mean, we need surgeries, we need emergency, you know, trauma, health, and all of that. But for for long term health, for chronic yeah. issues, I just don't think that they know. Like so many people, when I go to the store, grocery store, in the frozen food section, it's more people there than in fruit section. I'm like, <laughs> why? The bread section. Yes. Okay. Oh, really quickly, I just wanted to add, mm -hmm. people who've had recent colon surgery or recent surgery should also check about that, any abdominal oh. surgery, um, severe di diverticulitis, which is an inflammation. Of Basically, serious, serious issues with the health if they have. Foods, yeah, any inflammation in the gut, colitis, yeah. you know, gut issues, stuff like that, you need to kind of like check first. But All right. that, pregnant women can, can definitely get it. Yeah. What do people feel during this procedure? and after and how it is done this is the most important part for me because i want to know i have watched some videos i saw i heard from my mom because she told me this like long long time ago like 20 years ago that she wanted to have done this she wanted to do this but i'm like mom this is this is nasty this is like so crazy but i was child obviously now i'm thinking that this cool a lot easier than many people you know many people come in very fearful and nervous with, you know, it's, it's just a, not something you do every day, right? Yeah, <laughs> this is not like, you know, <laughs> going to the shower and brushing your teeth. <laughs> yeah, so um, just that's normal, that's completely natural. But what we do is we have, um, you have you lying on a table, and the system that I use is actually called the Woods Gravity Method, um, and it's a little different than some, I've worked on all types of methods, and this is just the most effective one. It's kind of hard to find in California, but in New York and the East Coast, it's a little more prevalent. But it's basically just a tank on a wall that uses gravity and your natural bowel movements to move the flow. So it's really natural, it's really effective. Um, and so you're lying on a table and we put a speculum about this far, like it's literally two inches okay. in to the rectum. And we start to, to fill the colon with warm water, filtered clean water. And very slowly, like a trickle, it's not, we're not blasting the body, right? It's, to explode. <laughs> So if, if anyone's had an enema, it's very similar to that, except a lot more, it's just a lot more effective and it gets a lot deeper into the colon and it allows a lot more waste to move out. So it's going to feel like an enema if anybody out there has had an enema. You're going to feel the flow of water coming in and we really want to try to fill the entire colon so that we can loosen things up. You might feel a little bit of gas pressure, you might feel a little cramping, kind of like when you've eaten something bad. That's all the body's um, way of telling you that it's trying to move something. So the natural peristalsis is kicking in and the cramping is starting to happen. And if there shouldn't be any pain, I mean, discomfort, yes. Some people come in if they're a raw vegan and completely don't have like a crazy history with diet or health issues, they can have chronic and it can feel amazing. It can feel relieving, it can feel like nothing's happening. But Depending on how toxic you are, you can come in and it can be a little uncomfortable in the beginning, but then you can shift as you shift into greater health, it'll be a little easier. Mm -hmm. um, that takes about 45 minutes and you are lying on the table the whole time. The, the waste goes out of a tube, down into plumbing, it's completely closed circuit. There's no nothing. Do you smell yet. something or not? Nothing. Okay, great. The rare event that there's like any leaking, we're getting really intimate here. Okay. In the rare event that there's any leaking, um, of course, but you know, that's because you have so much pressure built up that it needs to come out. So it's totally normal for that to happen if that's what's going on. 
but for the most part, people just lay on a pad and it's completely clean. You sit on the toilet afterwards and release whatever's left. Yeah, that's true. Now, what do you feel after, like, I don't know, next day, after two days, after one week? Yeah, so immediately after, you can feel light, energized, better mood. You're getting more serotonin to the brain, which is produced in the gut. That's you cool. can feel more clear in your mind. You, keep, you literally look. People will comment on how you look. They will just say you look like you're glowing and your skin looks amazing. That's what they'll say. <laughs> that's, so, that's so, for me, that's so important. Skin, 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 to have beautiful skin. Now I'm thinking like, is there, um, when you are overweight or you are like person that is more constipated, they can have a little bit discomfort or no? It depends on why someone's overweight. Um, but yeah, a rule of thumb is if you're, there's more toxicity in your body and more waste to get out, it can be a little more uncomfortable. And that's a good thing you brought up because at the end of a session, while most people feel amazing, if you're just getting into colonics, you can expect that you're going to go through a detoxification process. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're shaking loose. Like imagine a rug, right? Imagine an old abandoned house. Yeah. A big rug that's been sitting there for 100 years. You pick up this rug with all the windows shut and you start shaking it out. Oh. So that's a thing. We're going in and shaking all that stuff loose. If you feel horrible after a colonic, it's because the waste that we've just loosened up isn't moving out fast enough. Yeah. So, so opening the windows, which is keeping the movement happening, colonics, 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 you're going to slowly get rid of all that dust and, and your body is that house. So. That's, that's right. How many sessions do you, rem do you recommend like to do for people? How often? What about price? Tell me. Like. We really have to see where your body's at. We have to know the history and see how the first session goes. Because someone can come in with like concrete in their gut. And we start to chip away at it, and it, they don't release anything because all they have is gas pressure coming out, and okay. like maybe like a, a rock. So you have to out. check each patient, right? Everybody different. Yeah, everyone's different, and depending on how toxic your body is, I I would say if you go to your first, like plan on having at least three back to back. Okay. Um, it has to be within. A, there's no period of time that's too short, so you can do three days in a row. All right, now what we are the most importantly uh, like uh, excited and want to know, the price. <laughs> it, it varies everywhere. I think in New York it can be anywhere from like 100 to 150. Um, and then here I've seen places that do it for 80, like that's really low. But in LA where I work at the Springs, we have it for 125 for, um, for my service. And, um, and then in Chino, it's 100 where, where I live. Okay, so what if like person okay comes first time, you say, look, I will recommend for you like ten sessions in two months, let's say, and is there any like discount if you buy like ten sessions or something like that or just like? Yeah, um, I actually I do. I have packages. We have packages. Okay. Spring. We have packages here in Chino where I have my own practice, um, and my discounts are pretty steep compared to a lot of places. That's awesome. Next time in LA, LA, I'm coming to you straight away. <laughs> I'll take good care of you. Um, I'm, I, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm going to be in January, February. And then we can film everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Let's go. Let's go to next question. All right. Um, can this be helpful for the skin? Like acne, eczema. How this helpful? How this makes our skin more beautiful. This is how we found each other with Brie, actually. She was looking on my videos and then she found that I was talking about also that skin is not only beautiful by what we apply on the top of the skin is also important. What do we eat? How do we take care of our body? If we are constipated, not constipated, and this is like big, huge topic, I want you to tell them how it's this. In my experience, I'm coming to find that in our culture, we really like to put out fires. So we like to, something will be rubbed here or we'll have some pain over here. And we try to do things, whether it's synthetic meds, whether it's just addressing that one issue, that's putting like a band-aid or putting out fires. And these are all symptoms of a, of a gut. A lot of these fires can show up in many different ways. So um, acne, as we know, as our doctors tell us, the acne, um, Maybe you go to your OBGYN and they say that your hormones are off, right? So hormonal imbalance can happen. Um, bacteria imbalance, if your gut flora 
has been bombarded, you know, whether it's killed off by antibiotics or other chemicals that we've been eating, like Roundup on our food or, you know, like anything, antibiotics in our meats, whatever it is, our bacteria balance can get off and that can cause um, an eruption in skin issues and um, like fungal issues on the skin and things like that. Um, And then toxicity in the body, constipation, if your bowels aren't moving, guess where that waste is going? It's it's trying to get out of the body and your main pathway is blocked. So now your lymphatic system is going to start, you know, absorbing and cleaning, trying to get that out of the gut. That's other right. ways. It's going to circulate into your system and come out of your skin. Yeah. Notice that you might smell not so great too if you're wrapped yeah. up because it's trying to get out. It's trying to get out of all your pores. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. What I eat, how strongly impacts my acne because I'm acne prone skin. I have very, very oily skin. And, and and it's crazy how nutrition to me like impacts in my skin how my skin looks that's that's crazy that's insane i'm an esthetician and and people saying jen like what do what, what cleanser should they use what retin-a should they use retinoids and the retinols and stuff like this i'm like first of all um are you eating healthy because if you're gonna spend a hundred and thousands of dollars imagine people that they have acne for ages like they have 10 20 30 years and people spending so much money like insanely so much money they tried everything prescription medicine and and stuff like this from dermatologists but at the end i'm asking what do you eat because if if you're gonna spend hundreds of thousands of dollars for for the creams and cleanser but you're still gonna eat not healthy just not gonna make your skin beautiful Exactly, exactly. I love this. And I'm going to take it a step further and say if you're eating healthy, if you're eating organic and you're taking your multivitamins and your fish oil and your antioxidants, but you're not eliminating first, you're not getting rid of that history so that you can make space to absorb those things and actually get them. Yep. And get the good foods that you're eating. Then that's just as important as well. So this all this all ties in. This is such great. I'm so happy that we're doing this because this is something that people continually need to hear. Yeah. Is this helpful for losing weight? Because I had a completely unique experience. Not unique, but just more rare. So for people who are overweight, it's because their body is creating fat cells to get toxins away from their organs and away from their out of their bloodstream bloodstream basically. Yeah. So so you're at your, maybe you're even eating better and you're like, why can't I lose this fat? Well, you got to get that, that waste out first. So um, definitely it can start to shift your body into homeostasis. So what I mean by that is when you start to clean toxins out of the body and eat properly, the body can reach the weight that it wants to be. So for most people that are overweight, they will be able to absorb the nutrients better. They'll be able to kick out some of the toxins that are holding the fat in place. So, um, but for me, I, I, I'm like, I guess pretty average thin. Um, I weighed 25 pounds lighter than I do now my entire life because I had a severe gut issue, like severe gut imbalance. And, um, and I didn't really know, I didn't realize that that's why I was having panic attacks and depression and my skin was horrible. And, I didn't realize that what was going on, but I also was not absorbing nutrients. I was being held up to for years, and my small intestine and my colon, my gut started cleansing, um, and I was able to gain weight, which was really cool because I had always wanted to put on muscle. I never had energy to work out. I wanted, you know, my skin started glowing. People were commenting on how amazing I looked. Like to this day, people who haven't seen any. A few you have years, really, like, really beautiful skin. <laughs> it's. I mean, it's never been this good, like ever, you know, I'm getting hydrated, I'm getting my nutrients absorbed, all of that junk that was just not allowing me absorption is gone. And my moods improved, my serotonin is getting to my brain. You're happy, like, yay, I'm happy. (laughs) Yeah, and it puts me in a place of service. So now I can help other people in the state of, you know, being contracted and anxious. Like, you don't have any energy to help someone else. You're trying to figure out yourself. So now I'm in a place where I can share this information, and I would not give it, you know, the last 30 years 
back for anything. I, I'm glad that I suffered. I'm, I think it's a gift. And I think that it's something that people will really resonate with. A lot of women today are going exactly through what I went through. Wow, even the depression and anxiety can be related to diet. Everything can be related to diet. Yeah. That, that's awesome. And these things like the blemishes, the skin, the you know eczema, these are all signs. These are all signs that your body um, has an imbalance and it's trying to get rid of something. So it's, it's helping us out. It really is it's showing us love by giving us these problems. It makes sense, right? What you're putting in your body is what you are. And yeah, it's it's anyway has to this tox, toxic things they have to come out. This this crap out of your body somewhere has to come out somehow. And I will say that for people who are discouraged because they start eating healthy and they feel crappy, just know that you're you maybe making too many shifts at once. So pull back. Um, Say someone goes on a juice cleanse, I definitely wouldn't go from fast food to a juice cleanse or even like bread and meat and sugar to a juice cleanse. You're, you're going to die. What would you recommend for people to keep their gut healthy? Quickly, okay. diet, some special supplements you're using. What you're going to want to do is avoid processed foods, processed sugars. You don't have to be vegan right away. Um, you don't have to, people think that they have to give up meat and give up like dairy and all this stuff, which they probably should. And in time they can get there, but that's going to cause you to fail because you're going to like, it's going to be too hard of a shift for you. So just make sure to stay away from toxic products. Like what you're putting on your skin is getting into your bloodstream and is affecting your whole body. Um, and then only organic grass fed free range. These things are way more packed with nutrients that you can absorb and don't have a lot of like toxins in it. What I would do is use an alternative, a natural alternative, whenever you can to healthcare. And I, I personally teach about this. Um, I use doTERRA personally for myself. It's a, have you heard of doTERRA? No. It's an essential oils company, but I chose to work with them because they're based in science. Oh, I saw on your Instagram, you, you have it on your Instagram, right? Yeah. Yeah. I have, um, and I teach people how to use these alternatives so that they don't have to feel stuck. They don't have to feel like they have to go somewhere else to um, do something that they can actually easily do from home with and support the body that way and save emergencies, you know, yeah. run, to the, run to the hospital if you have an emergency. Um, so what you should do is also be taking a multivitamin, a fish oil, um, and an antioxidant blend to give your cells the nutrients that they need to function properly. This is so huge. Do you have like supplements to share, your favorite supplements? I use doTERRA, like I said. I searched high and low for the best supplementation and the best products. Like if I find something that I use for myself, that's what I share with everybody else. Um, I'm really, really adamant about using only things that are really pure and that I trust from a company that I trust. So what I take is their supplements. It's a multivitamin, um, vitamins, minerals in the recommended daily allowances. No mega doses to toxify the liver. It can accumulate. And especially because a lot of companies out there provide synthetic components to their vitamins. Exactly. It's cheaper to make it and then make more profit. Yeah. So don't, don't do that. I used to go to like, you know, the nearest health market and get the most expensive multivitamin because I figure if I spend more money on something, that means it's better quality and... That's not necessarily the case because I would never really feel anything from the multivitamins. I would just assume that they were working. So definitely when you have, um, here's the, this is the pack and I'm actually going to be giving this away to somebody and I'll tell you in a little bit how to, how to get it. But it has oh. a multivitamin, a fish oil and a antioxidant blend. It's called the lifelong vitality pack. Wow. And it's something that you take daily for lifelong vitality. Um, we don't get the nutrients we need in our foods anymore. The enzymes, the soil is deplete. We, we just don't get what we need, even if we're eating super healthy. And our gut sometimes isn't in the best state to receive this food and digest it. So I take this daily. Most people notice the energy, you know, the, the mood improves. You have more energy throughout the day. The skin, I have a friend whose skin completely just improved and she got comments at her office. Like, people were like, did you get a face peel? <laughs> like, <laughs> so yeah. getting the power tools, your body's going to be able to use them. So these are really bioavailable. They absorb amazingly. And there's also nine different essential oils in the um, supplement kit That's that cool. immediately go into the body. So for 
anybody who's watching who wants me to ship you this, I'm going to actually throw in some digestive enzymes as well, because if you aren't digesting your food, um, that's a problem. It's going to ferment in the gut and cause constipation and cause gut issues. So I'm going to throw in those. It basically helps you break down all of the food that you're eating. So wow. it's like your pancreas usually makes these enzymes that help break down carbs and proteins and things like that. So um, you should be taking that with your food as well. So this, if you want to follow my Instagram page at The Wood Method, it's exactly how it Well, they, they, should, they should follow your Instagram if they want to get this, right? Yeah, so you would follow me and then um, tag three friends who you think would benefit from this information. And also, I want to hear why you want to. I want to hear why you want to win. So, what part of your life do you want to change? What do you want to improve about your health, so that I kind of know more about what's going on with you, and I can kind of maybe even give some suggestions, even if you don't win, you know. So, and then I also wanted to um, to let you guys know that I do personal health consults for free, 30 minutes, and what we do is we go over your health goals. A little bit about what products might help with those. A little bit about doTERRA. You don't have to buy anything, but if there's anything that you want to try, I, of course, will help you get it at the best price and um, work with you in that way. So if you want to do that, my email, you can reach out, send me your top three health goals, and we'll work together on those. I'll send you a couple dates that work for, for me, and you, you can book something. Oh, and I'm also looking for people who want to work with me. So if you you know might not be happy in your job, and you want to do something more fulfilling with your life, I'm, I train people and I get them on my team to work with me in this way. And, you know, you might also love your, maybe you do love your job, but you don't have time freedom. Like you want to create your own schedule and you want to yeah. just you know, like dream and like how would your life look if you could choose exactly how it looks? Like, are you living the life that you want to live right now? And if not, you should really think about how you want it to look, write it down dream about it and the more you focus on that it's going to start to shift in that way so i like to help people do that as well so let's work together if that's something that you want to do just message me uh, okay next question where people can find you where do you work like where is exactly where is your work you're going to leave me um address you're going to leave me your link and stuff like this yeah so i work at a place called the spring and it's basically a huge warehouse in downtown LA that they turned into this like oasis of healing. There's a yoga studio, it's beautiful. There's a, um, a cold press juice bar, they do breakfast, it's a restaurant. Like it started as a raw vegan restaurant, another vegetarian restaurant. Um, and a wellness center with nice. salon and Reiki and chiropractic and fire cupping and acupuncture and crazy, weird, unique massage techniques I like that this. nobody knows about that's amazing I so like it's pretty eclectic and a lot, it's, a, it's definitely a tourist spot if you're visiting to, to come say hi to me ask if I'm there and introduce yourself and we'll take a picture together but there's that and then I work in Chino which is about a half hour east of LA in my home I educate families and individuals how to use plants <laughs> to cool. support their health and, and become more vibrant. And it's funny because I feel like these plants like align, like the frequency of these plants are so powerful and they're, they, they're resonating with the, the earth and all of that. So when I started using these, I saw the biggest actual um, spiritual and emotional shift as well as physical in a weird way. So um, that's the other thing that I do. I help people shift. That's, that's nice. Course. That's nice. Yeah. Basically, you are the god for people who need the god, right? <laughs> I pulled myself into this, like, I don't know what, like, I, I don't even know who I am anymore. I used to be so different, and I just now accepted this role that I am taking on, and it's scary. It's like I've never done an interview before. I've, you know, it's, I've never been so vulnerable to so many people but I feel like getting out of my comfort zone is so worth it because so many people are going to be hearing this and so many people are going to be benefiting from exactly, this information exactly we start somewhere this is where we start today <laughs> we'll the world. Uh, one yeah. more question from me are you vegan vegetarian amazing question uh. I almost forgot to our body will function the best and have the longest um the best longevity with a raw vegan diet, mostly raw vegan diet. However, I am not raw vegan, and there's a reason for that. 
I was so sick for so many years, and this was recent. My, I'm still in the process of shifting. So wherever you are in your diet, do not feel guilty. Do not feel like you should be anywhere. But you can start the trajectory into a healthier state. So for example, if you have fast food, you might want to start eating not fast food. <laughs> like anything, yeah. anything. If you're eating a whole foods diet, you might want to start cutting bread, processed flours, um, wheat, sugars, alcohol. If you're eating, you know, if you're vegetarian, but here and there, or pescatarian here and there, you have some fish and stuff like that. And maybe you want to try, um, or you're doing like grains and like macrobiotic, like rice and grains, and you're feeling inflamed. Try a ketogenic diet. Try paleo. That's gonna. That's actually paleo and ketogenic diet are what I believe heals the gut the fastest and gets it catapults you on your way to veganism because. It's going to take the inflammation down enough, but not detoxify you too hard. So getting the grains and the bread out is going to stop the inflammation, and then you can shift further. So it, this is a long answer, but um, right now I'm I'm kind of shifting more into more raw. I do a lot of green juice. That's like my daily thing. Is I kind of fast, have green juice during the day, and then have like a big, bigger sometimes lunch, sometimes dinner, salad, cooked vegetables. No, I'm no grain, no bread. You know, I had I had gas problems like before many many years ago. But once I started to working out, I had a personal trainer in Germany. Then he did the plan for me, nutrition plan basically, where everything shifted for me. Where I started to eat uh, veggies, where I started to eat like healthy, uh, um, healthy carbs, not white flour and stuff like this. But when I shifted to this healthy nutrition and then it happened like slowly by slowly like step by step not like one day I cut everything and then I'm not eating because I didn't have knowledge what of us people like when we are overweight and when we don't feel good I think number one reason why we're not there where we want to be because we don't have knowledge we don't have information we just even don't know where to look this information so this personal trainer was this guide for me where I started to research more and more and more because somebody put me on this spot where I should research more about health, about food, about eating healthy, about feeling good, you know, and, and since I started to eating healthy and my gas kind of disappear and my constipation disappear, I feel good, I feel great, I still want to try and I still want to come to you and I will come to you <laughs> because I want to experience this, I want to feel this. It's very, very important for this skin because I love, I don't know, like so many, do you know, like 650 million people in the world that have acne and I guarantee 90, 99% of them because they don't eat something right for them. I just, I think like this and, and I think like 50% of these people, they have depression and I read somewhere a long time ago that some like 5% even commit suicide so imagine how like skin reflects how you feel this is like so important to know how to eat what to do with your gut with your body with your intestines what to how to keep and how to maintain everything healthy to have also beautiful skin this is like so important yeah so during the session i'll be massaging the abdomen in um from the the cecum so i'm trying to get up and make sure skin mm -hmm. So I'm going to point this. Okay. So the gum, which is down, and then it goes up and around okay. and back down through the curvature and out. So you can go in a circular uh, direction where you just kind of, you can just push your fingers in and massage, starting on the right side of your body. I don't know if this is like a mirror image, but starting on the right side and circularly going down. And you might even feel in this little pocket on the left side by your hip bone, you might feel you dig in there, there's a little bit of a bubble or a gas or a pain or a lump, and that's waste sitting there waiting to come out. So you can massage yourself in that way. Um, there's some essential oils that I uh, use to um, help with gas. So you can rub that over your stomach if you're having any gas pains or anything like that, having digestive issues, you can put it in a capsule and take it and it kind of soothes the gut. So. I'm just rubbing my belly right now, looking for some <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> so far, nothing yet. <laughs> Maybe I should press more. <laughs> Maybe you're good. Maybe you're, you're, you're clear. 
Okay. I appreciate it so much, and I love. Thank you too. Know. Thank you for taking time and and doing this actually, and 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 we for doing this. We're not getting paid or anything. This is not like we are on the big TV show or something. Just like we we love to share what we know. That that's awesome. That's thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, if it helps even just one person out there. Uh, exactly. Our, our work is done. <laughs> exactly. The work is done. So, all right, all the information about Brie is going to be down under the, this video in the description box. If you need anything, it's going to be her social media, where she works, address and stuff like this, wherever she's going to give it to me. It's going to be down below under this video. So, we say thank you so much, guys, for watching. We hope you like this. We hope that we help somebody. And that's it, guys. Last word from Brie. Okay, bye. So see you in my next video.